I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Faith, the patriarchs, their example, their comfort. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Did you hear a bell? I thought I heard a bell. Did you hear a bell? Oops, you missed that. Get the app. It's on iTunes, um, Amazon, and Google Play. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift, right there above Thor's head, keeps higher things. A youth organization all about passing the faith to the passing the faith to the next generation keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. So, the patriarchs, the guys in the Old Testament, the heroes, uh, they provide us a great example of the life of faith and also the grace of God. And what I mean by that is, is as you read the Old Testament, as you, and the New Testament for that matter, as you read the scriptures, you will come across many characters, many people. And characters, I mean like characters, like personalities. But you'll, you'll, you'll come across many, many people. And, and all of them teach you by their lives about Jesus. For example, Abel, whose name means breath, is a second son, not really not really sort of oohed and odd over by his parents because they were so busy oohing and odd on over Cain. Cain means possession. They thought that Cain was going to be the savior. And Abel, his name means breath. He's like, they had the heir and then they had a spare. But Abel's offering is acceptable to God despite his being a second son and Cain's offering is not. And we know how that goes. Abraham an idol worshiper, a, um, uh, a guy who tells a fib, um, a guy who, um, yeah, not a perfect person, but God goes and finds him and saves him and tells him that he's going to bless him, bless those who bless him and, and, and curse those who diminish him. And through him, he would be a blessing to all people. And that's us too, through his seed. All of these different fathers in the faith point us to Jesus. David, a guy who had the very heart of God, but is a pervert and a murderer, but yet has the faith to slay a giant. These guys, with their, with their faith and their failures, provide us a gift in how merciful God is towards sinners. David, um, um, David doesn't deserve salvation. Abraham doesn't deserve salvation. Abel and Cain, um, Adam, all of these patriarchs, Noah, who built the big, big boat, they don't deserve salvation, yet they have salvation in the promise. You see, that's the deal about a father in the faith or a saint. They point us to Jesus. They point us to Jesus in their life. They point us to Jesus in their failures. Their faith points us to Jesus. So Noah's faith in building a big, big boat points us to Jesus. Noah's, the grace of God shown to Noah, drunk, naked, um, right after the flood, his grace shows us. And not as permission to sin. That, that, that's, not, that, that's not what's going on there. David isn't a permission to, to have adultery um, and murder somebody. The, the grace that God shows him, though, should give us comfort in our sins. We may not murder somebody, but we sure hate them. And that God saved them helps us, too. That If God can save Paul, the worst sinner all, of all time, a persecutor and a murderer, he could save me too with all my sins. And so I would invite you to read the, the Old and the New Testament. And when you come across the people, 
the characters there who are real people. Look at their faith that points you to Jesus and look at their lives which show the grace of God, that God shows grace to sinners, even you and me. And all of it points us. All of it points us. Look here, buddy. Really? That cannot be a tragic throw. That was not my fault. Catch this, buddy. He caught it. All of it points us to Jesus. I'm Pastor George Borkart. And this has been another Higher Things video short.